I want to live in a land called paradise I want to go to the valley of the king I want to live in a land called paradise I want to see the birds fly and I want to hear the angels Sing the praises of my Lord so far above As I move poetically with struggle I fall in love I look to the left, I look to the right and all I gaze upon Reveals the source of flowers, rainbows and the dew at dawn Some see before and some see in and some see after I let my sight pierce the chains and see the master I want to live in a land called paradise I want to go to the valley of the king I want to live in a land called paradise I want to see the birds fly and I want to hear the angels sing So many times in my life I ask myself the question what got me, brought me into all this mess I'm swimming in But pain is not and neither harm in the pool of bliss So slap me with your hand or kiss me with your softest kiss Tell me that you love me or that you don't like me now Tell me you invite me or that you don't want me around I won't cry over a world that can't change my life I'll put my money on what lies ahead in paradise I want to live in a land called paradise I want to go to the valley of the king I want to live in a land called paradise want to see the birds fly and I want to hear the angels sing Try to do right and love my wife and trade and pray and talk I can be anywhere, do anything, and I'm mindful of God I'm pleased and good and happy and harm and now I realize That I already live in a land called paradise I want to live in a land called paradise I want to go to the valley of the king I want to live in a land called paradise I want to see the birds fly and I want to hear the angels I want to live in a land called paradise I want to go to the valley of the king I want to live in a land called paradise I want to see the birds fly and I want to hear the angels sing I want to hear the angels sing Oh, oh, oh. Well, joining me now is someone who's been billed as America's first Muslim country and Western star. He says his music is a product of the combination of his Islamic values and his passion for country music. He's from Oklahoma, he's Kareem Salana. And before I talk to him, let's have a listen to this. Don't you ever wonder what might be if you live life free? Don't you ever wonder what it's like to fly off the high dive? Don't you think the dreams in you are meant to ever come true? Don't you? Know that hopes are slaves till you free them and see them through Can you find a little life in you? Make your days and nights worth living I swear there's more for us Well that was uh, Green Slama, welcome to you indeed Thank you I, I, It is still a, a concert, I guess that people have difficulty getting their head around that Islam and country and Western do seem very far apart Well I mean, Islam is my religion but culturally I'm, I'm an Oki, I'm a Texan and you know Music, country music is a big part of the culture there. It is the music that people listen to. Some of the best country music artists come out of Oklahoma. We've got Garth Brooks, Reba McIntyre, uh, Toby Keith. So it was, it was just a big part of me growing up. And, and I also like the, the genre because I think it's a very reverent genre. I think you, you know, you don't typically have people 
you know, if you want it, if you have some sort of, it's, it's a virtuous kind of music, I think, and it tells great stories. But a lot of it's about, you know, hard luck stories, drinking, things going wrong with women, or all, all that well, kind I, of stuff, I mean, which is not, not particularly uh, Muslim. Well, that's part of, I mean, that's part of life, I think, and that's part of, you know, people get, Muslims get their heart broken just like anyone else. Um, so I, I think those stories are great. They're human stories, and and I, you know I think a lot of people perceive Islam as this foreign thing that has no relationship to you know it's, it's been it's been sort of with the with all the terrorist attacks and things yeah. like that it's been sort of uh, demonized. But yeah. you know we're Muslims are human beings. I mean you grow up in Oklahoma, yeah. you talk like an Oki. You grow yeah. up in you know I've, I've met people of. Uh, uh, Muslims here that, yeah. that speak uh, speak the Queen's English. I mean, how did the, the other side of your life, the fact that your parents came from Egypt and and I mean, you speak Arabic, presumably. Yes, you, sir. Yeah, I mean, how how did you manage to to do both, as it were? Well, the, they. I mean, a lot of people think they conflict, and I, and you know, I I don't think that they do. You know, for example, in in Oklahoma, in Southern culture generally, it's a big part of that culture is being very neighborly, and it's a big part of you know the Islamic uh, ethos as well. So. It was sort of, you know, my religious values and my cultural values reinforced each other. So yeah. I think, I think that, in my, and my parents were yeah. very, very um, open with people. They were, my mother was in every kind of book mm -hmm. club and every kind of, you know, club you can imagine. So she had, we had lots of, yeah. lots of friends, friends with the neighbors and things like that. So we felt right at home.